and then talks with Bull yesterday. He came up with a few names that he thinks would be I'm curious the to hear perfect this name. replacement. For yeah, I am too. So, you said you had someone you think's going to get it and someone that you hope gets it. Yeah, so let's start with the guy that is the home run hire, but probably won't end up here, Mike. And that's, I'll put it up or you want me to say it first? You can say it, we got it. So Craig Council, to me, he's the home run hire. The guy's not that far out of the game. Wow. He's been a manager with the Brewers for almost a decade. He's done a fantastic job there. Let's face it, the Brewers were a nothing franchise for years before Craig Council took over. They're consistently in the pennant race. They're consistently in the playoffs. Now, they haven't won in the highest level, obviously. But with a mid-tier payroll, certainly higher than the Guardians, but certainly not, he, you know, their payroll's never as high as the Cubs and the Cardinals. And yet, they've consistently been better than those teams. Why would he leave? He's a free agent at the end of the year. Right, but you don't why- think about free agents in Milwaukee. No, I know you don't. But why would he leave a mid tier payroll team to right. come from a bottom tier payroll he pro- team. Well, he probably wouldn't. And I, in fact, I think he's going to go to the Mets because the GM he worked with in Milwaukee, a guy by the name of David Stearns, just got hired to be the new president or GM of, Craig, of the Mets. I remember and and Buck Showalter playing. is out. Buck that's, Showalter is out. So that so, was, how young is he? I remember I mean, him playing. He that's still crazy. looks like Well, didn't Council score the winning run I in guess, the 97 it, World Series is, yeah. for the Marlins? And he, Could so, we handle that? Uh, sure. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, I, the guy's a hell of a manager. He yeah. gets the most out of his. Talent, I don't see him managing, but I know I, you do a lot. Being well, in yes, the, I watch. You know, I see the Cubs play the Brewers all the time. Sure, he is an excellent manager. He's a, he's great with bullpen. He's great with in-game strategy. I think he's one of the five best managers in baseball. Wow, I think he's the most underrated manager in the game. Well, he doesn't get the recognition because ultimately they haven't won a World Series. Yeah, and they, they haven't even gone to a World Series. But I, I think he's done more with less. You know, I think the Brewers are a decent team, but they're not great. And they won the division going away. Yeah. And uh, and they've done that a lot. So I love Council, but I think he'll end up with the Mets because they'll offer him a boatload of money. Now, here's the guy. Maybe a lot of people don't know this guy, but I think there's a great chance he becomes the next manager. Mike screwed up the name. Uh, you pu- I don't put them all up. You spoiled my, my surprise here. <laughs> <laughs> you said you wanted all four in a graphic and a special one for I, Council. I never said that. Uh, it's, <laughs> <laughs> That's what we talked about last night. It's really, I want to see the metadata. All right. <laughs> Give me the metadata. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> the guy the who's my second choice and who will most likely be the manager, I think, is Will Venable. There's no S at the end of his name, Mike. Oh, then that, that is on me. Yeah, that is on it's me. It's Will Venable. Will Venable, okay, you know who he played – you know where Will Venable played college baseball? Oklahoma. Uh, I'm guessing that. somewhere in Ohio. No. Oh. He played college baseball at Princeton. Oh, geez. You know who else played college baseball at Princeton? Uh, at the same time as Will Venable? Antonetti. No, his number two guy. Chernoff. Mike Chernoff and Will Venable were teammates in college. Oh, wow. Okay? Will Venable was a good, like, pinch hitter journeyman major league baseball player for a number of years. He's been on winning coaching staffs. He was on the Cubs team that won the World Series. He was on that coaching staff. He's been with the Rangers who are going to the playoffs this year. He's a highly thought of managerial candidate. He's interviewed for jobs the last two, three years. Hasn't gotten one yet. But when you connect the dots between the re- relationship between him and Chernoff, there's a possibility Antonetti might be leaving this offseason too. I think that's possible. Yeah. Uh, and which would make Chernoff even higher up in the in the in the pecking order. But if you look at their relationship, there is a connection. A- and the fact that he's a highly thought of guy around baseball, right? Player, you know, has been a coach, paid his dues for a while. Smart guy. Smart get very smart guy. Embraces yes. analytics. Yes. There you go. Uh, he's the second choice. Now, I don't. Personally, I don't think they should stick with any of the guys in the organization. You don't think Sandy's going to get away? I don't want, no. Damn, I'm, Sandy. I'm Sandy. However, Sandy. how about another former guardian as <laughs> an outside-the-box thinking? Mike Napoli. I saw that on there. Is he Mike, managing somewhere he in the is minors? The, he is the Cubs' first base coach right now. Is he really? I didn't yes. even know that. <laughs> he's been the Cubs' first base coach for a couple of years. Uh, so he's done some coaching. He's always been considered a great leader in the locker room. He was <laughs> beloved by his teammates and, and we could the party fans. at Napoli. We party we at party at Napoli's after every game. <laughs> How was Mike Napoli over Sandy Alomar? How? I think the ship has sailed on Sandy. How, did, how, oh, does, really? this, how does the so, ship sail on a manager? Like did he just old. did he just he forget baseball? Gee, I just think there's something about the Guardians are a young team 
And I think you maybe need a manager who's a little more with the times. Well, what about so this? You, you, <laughs> you say you, you, you said <laughs> what you saying if I read between the tea leaves? Yeah. Sandy ain't really, really, really locked in with all the NFL. Now, I don't know. No, I don't even know that. He, just, to me, he looks I, like a field I, player. Part of me is like, I just need somebody from out of the what organization What about this, right though? The game has a huge Hispanic influence. Yes. Huge. Right. Most rosters have double-digit players yes. that are Latin American. Yes. I, I would think that... And, and I know yes, it didn't work with Ozzy Guillen in, in Chicago. They but thought they, that would work. They, it didn't. Then they win a championship. Well, it worked well, for it a worked. minute. <laughs> but it I, I, I thought it went well. And you know what? I would take one more. What about you saying? What more do you want? Let me just give you. You're right. Let me give you two more guys real quick. Okay. One that was on there and one that would fit, you know, if you wanted to hire a Latin manager. Right. I hadn't really thought about it okay. in that way. But uh, the other guy, a little off the board, Mark DeRosa. Now, Mark DeRosa managed the... The, yeah, he's, the he's, uh, U.S. He's, Team USA. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Uh, he's well. Also played for the Guardians. Yep. Well, Indians. The Indians, of course. And, and uh, well liked here. Well respected. Well liked. Yeah. Uh, real. Real. I'm sure he'd be a great players manager. So I think he's a little off the board. I don't know that he even wants to manage full time. And I'll throw one more guy who I didn't put on there. Joe Espada. Joe Espada. Oh, okay. Is Dusty Baker's bench coach in Houston. What about Aaron Boone? <laughs> Why are you t- Aaron no, Boone's staying with New York. Have they came out? They've come out and said that. Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay. I'm surprised. That's, that's a big surprise. I yeah. thought he was dead man walking. Yeah. Wow. No, I'm just that payroll and a last place finish, or did they finish ahead of the Red Sox? I can't remember. Wow. Okay. I thought I, Aaron I, Boone would be available. I will ask you. Uh, even when that when the, when the when the Indians had those teams, don't you believe? I thought to me watching with my younger eyes. I thought Sandy was the de facto captain. Did, I who, think who he was, was five years ago, but when Tito missed games and he wasn't named yeah, the actual manager, yeah, I like Bull something. felt, uh-oh, uh, yeah. that's not a vote of confidence. Nobody's yeah. hired Sandy in all these years to be a manager. I know, and I can't understand why. It's been a long why. time. I, you know, I don't know why. I, you, know. you would have thought that with his lineage – his dad played Major League Baseball. Yep. His, his brother his is brother. a Hall of Famer. He, yeah. he, Sandy was a, a an unbelievably popular player here in Cleveland. Yeah. You thought at Plus some he's point a catcher that he, he knows the catcher managers. Got to manage pitchers. Yeah. Who do you think? If, I don't know, man. I would like to see That's Sandy. That's a whole get a lot job. of stuff. Who is okay? If if they ask if if on the way out, Tito's going to say, "I recommend." Oh, he's going to get a recommendation. Uh, the, the hitting coach was well thought of. Uh, Chris, what's what's the hitting? Is it Yes. Yeah. Um, I talked to him at spring training. Very impressive yeah. guy. Bright. Yeah. Um, I think he's, he's kind of young. in the Tito mold. And how many home runs did they hit last year? Well, that's a fact. <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. straight. I, I, listen, his, his bench coach is DeMarlo Hale. <laughs> DeMarlo <laughs> Hale's an older guy. Maybe he recommends him, but I... <laughs> That baseline, we can't do the hitting coach. Did we set a record for the lowest home run in the modern era? No, no, no. I can't believe we did. It was close. Oh, my goodness. It was horrible. By the way, speaking of home runs, I texted you guys this stat yesterday. Oh, I loved it. Kyle Schwarber of the Phillies, the first player in the history of baseball to bat under 200 but drive in 100 runs. It's crazy. How many home runs did he finish with? 48, I think it was. 48 homers, 47 Dang. singles. He is the poster child for the all or nothing era. And, right. And he, we would have kept. It's a home run walker single. That's uh, it. Home run walker strikeout. That's pretty it. Much. If it, we would have kept Fran Mail, he would have had the same thing. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> How much if Fran Mill could hit 40 something homers, how much did he hit? Well, well, did, Fran Mill did have a nice number of home runs. How many did he hit? Yeah, yeah but Schwarber's hit those like 35 to, or more, like yeah. a number of years in a row. 